How do you guys, it's pretty hot in here, isn't it? It's hot. It's late. I don't know if you guys had time for dinner. Some of you guys might have come straight from work. And I can just kind of see, like, you're chewing gum, and I, I wonder if that's like a hunger thing. I actually don't feel comfortable continuing the show without you guys having a little bit to eat. Is that, would that feel good for you? I just feel like, is there any, can anybody on the show, if there's anything that you guys can find, like a cookie, um, just literally anything. If there's soup, just loose soup, pour it in their hands. Just whatever. Okay, wait, what is that? What do you guys have? Donuts. Oh, donuts. Okay, great. Yeah, great. I'll just actually, that's wonderful. There you go. You get two of them. If there's a, like an extra, I'll take it, you know, for... Oh, you want to give me half? Yeah. Great, thank you. Did you bite this? Did not. Can you? <laughs> you guys, I'm not going to make any promises to you. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to have a baby. But I want you to know that if I do, at least for once in my goddamn life, my period would not be completely fucking useless to me. <laughs> yeah, because you guys, I have, uh, I have never had a pregnancy scare. <laughs> so it's never been a relief to get it. <laughs> and now when I said period, there were possibly some of you that got a little weirded out, especially the gentlemen. Oh, disgusting. Well, I don't believe you've ever had an honest conversation with a woman. <laughs> Yeah, because if you think periods are disgusting, you have no idea how disgusting periods actually are. I wake up in the night and I am bleeding a crime scene into my bed and no one else is around. I gotta get up and process it. I gotta take it, put it in plastic bags and send it to the lab and see who did it and it's always me. <laughs> I'm the victim and the perpetrator every time. It doesn't come out in an easy pourable substance. Chunks of my body are coming out of my body. My body is using my body to crush pieces of my body out of my body. Every month is like a Wolverine origin story that I somehow survive. Sometimes the chunks are so large, the only logical response to pick it up, I hold it in my hand, and marvel at it. Oh, that's the size of a strawberry. And this is not just happening to us in our beds. This is happening to us on planes. We're feeling some interior turbulence. We're running to the bathroom, taking out a dirty thing and shoving it in the wall and taking out a clean thing, stuffing that in there, it hurts a lot. Then you go sit in your seat for another three and a half more hours, try to distract yourself with the crudes or whatever. <laughs> yes, periods are disgusting. But even more so, they deserve your respect. And we deserve your respect for surviving them! <laughs> and if you didn't clap for that, I just want you to know that I made you eat a fucking jelly donut <laughs> while I talked about my period. <laughs> and I hope that sticks with you and puts you off jelly donuts forever!